Wendy Williams apologizes for making fun of Joaquin Phoenix's cleft lip scar. Wendy Williams has since apologized for making fun of Joaquin Phoenix's cleft lip scar after she was slammed on social media because of it. Wendy Williams of The Wendy Williams Show has since apologized for making fun of Joaquin Phoenix's cleft lip scar. Wendy has never been one to take other people's feelings into consideration and this is just another example that will be added to a very long list. Williams has not been making the best impression lately when it comes to living by the golden rule. The Wendy Williams Show is currently airing its 11th season and has been renewed through 2022. The 55-year-old former radio host is known for her over-the-top antics and opinions, and she most recently made the news for accusing Dancing with the Stars contestant and friend, Christy Brinkley for faking her injuries in order to get her daughter, Sailor Brinkley Cook, on the show in her place. Now, the shock jock took aim at Phoenix and his lip deformity according to People. The daytime TV host has decided to donate to two organizations that support those who were born with cleft lips. Williams 180 comes after she mocked Phoenix for having the birth condition last week on her show. In the January 7th episode, Williams was discussing the Golden Globes and its attendees, saying she found Phoenix oddly attractive after watching his Oscar-nominated performance in Walk the Line. The host joked that it wasn't Reese Witherspoon who kept her engaged in the movie. Viewers wouldn't have given the comment a second thought until the DJ went on to say, He's got one of those, what do you call it, cleft lip, cleft palate, as she used her hand to pull her lip above her teeth to show the deformity. The 55 year old's improvisation earned her immense backlash from followers, which included Canadian football player, Adam Big Hill, whose son was born with a cleft lip. The Canadian had taken the time to tweet at Williams throughout the week demanding she apologizes for her insensitive words. Williams did respond to the athlete's tweet by saying that she apologized to the cleft community and had donated to Operation Smile and the American Cleft Palate Craniofacial Association in his son's honor. Though, Phoenix has always stated in interviews that he had a birthmark and not a cleft lip. Even though Williams may not have known she was being insensitive there is a majority of babies who are born with cleft lips every year, 1,600 babies to be exact. While one in every 2,800 newborns are born with a cleft lip and not a cleft palate. Fans of the Wendy Williams show are now hoping that this is yet another lesson learned for the host and she will think before she speaks. Mm -hmm.